Now consider the picture that you can see on the screen. Over here, we have Jack and Ryan who are jogging in a field. Now it has been given to us that this field A, B, C, D is a parallelogram shaped field. Now in this parallelogram shaped field, Jack and Ryan start jogging from opposite sides. As you can see, Jack starts from B and Ryan starts from D and they run along BD. Now obviously when they are running along BD, they will meet at a point. So let us say they meet at point O. Now both of them are arguing that they have covered a greater distance. Jack says he has covered a greater distance along BO, whereas Ryan says no, he has covered a greater distance along DO. Now before we start discussing about who has covered a greater distance, let us study an important property of a parallelogram. What is that property? The property states that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. What does that mean? That means that OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. So we have to prove that OA is equal to OC. That is OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD and OB is equal to OD because that is what the property states that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. BD bisects AC and vice versa. So this is what we have to prove and what have we been given? We have been given that AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC or in other words we have been given that ABCD is a parallelogram. So now let us see how we can prove. Now firstly I want you to consider two angles. The angles I want you to consider are this angle and this angle. That is angle BAC and angle DCA. Now as you can clearly see angle BAC or angle CAB and angle DCA are alternate angles for two parallel lines AB and DC. Now since they are alternate angles from the property of parallel lines what can we say? We can say that angle BAC is equal to angle DCA. Now since angle BAC is equal to angle DCA, I can rewrite this equation in a slight different way. That is instead of considering BAC, I can consider BAO because O and C lie along the same line. So instead of writing angle BAC, what will I write? I will write angle BAO because O and C are lying along the same line. In a similar manner, instead of writing DCA, that is, instead of DCA, I will write DCO because again O and A are lying on the same line. Thus I get angle BAO equals angle DCO and I call it equation 1. Now let us look at two other angles. I want you to now consider angle ABD, that is this angle and angle CDB, that is this angle. Now again if you notice carefully, these two angles are alternate interior angles in between two parallel lines AB and DC, considering BD as the transversal. So since these two angles are alternate angles, what can we say? We can say that angle ABD, angle ABD is equal to angle CDB, angle CDB. Now again I can rewrite this equation in a slightly different way. If you notice carefully that instead of writing angle ABD, I can write as angle ABO. Why? Because even in this case, O and D lie on the same line. Thus, instead of ABD, I write angle ABO. 
notice that it remains the same angle, just that I am writing it in a different way. And now instead of writing angle CDB, I will write it as angle CDO. Because again if you notice, O and B are lying on the same line. So instead of CDB, I write CDO and I call this equation 2. So now let us see how we can proceed with the proof. Now I want you to consider two triangles. Triangle AOB, that is this triangle, and triangle COD, that is that triangle. I have shaded out the two triangles which we are about to consider. So now let us consider these two triangles and let's see what we can say about them. Now firstly I can say that angle BAO is equal to angle DCO because I have already shown you how they are equal. So I write angle BAO is equal to angle DCO and we get this from equation 1. Furthermore, we have been given that ABCD is a parallelogram. So we can write AB is equal to DC because we know that one of the properties of a parallelogram is that opposite sides are equal. So I can write AB is equal to DC because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Lastly, what can I write? I can write that angle ABO is equal to angle CDO because again I have found that out. So for these two triangles AOB and COD, I write angle ABO is equal to angle CDO and this I get from equation 2. So now what do I have? I have a pair of angles equal, a pair of sides equal and another pair of angles equal. So now I can say that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle C O D through what rule? The A S A rule. Thus, these two triangles are congruent. Now, obviously, when these two triangles are congruent, what can I very easily conclude? I can easily conclude that O A is equal to O C and O B is equal to O D. That is, from the congruency of these two triangles, I can say that OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. Why? Because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. Thus, through CPCD, I have proved that OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD, which we had originally set out to prove. So this proves that the diagonals of a parallelogram indeed bisect one another. And for each of these diagonals, O is the midpoint. Thus, we get what we had set out to prove. So this helps us solve the original dispute between Jack and Ryan. Both of them were telling that after running along DO and BO, who had covered the greater distance? And the dispute was all about that. Now we know after proving the property that DO is indeed equal to DO. So both Jack as well as Ryan have run the same distance along BD when they started from B and D respectively and reached point O.